Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Blackburn here. We are here for our final day of writing this week. Let's go ahead and begin. Elements of drama. Our learning goal. Students will craft a short original scene including setting, characters, dialogue, character tags, and stage directions. Success criteria. I can plan, draft, revise, and edit a scene of a play. So when you are writing or creating your drama, your play, your script, um, just a few things when you're writing that or typing that in Schoology, be sure to do the following. You need to skip a line when a person starts and stops talking, underline the speaker's name and use a colon. This is a colon and that key, if you hit shift and the key right after the L, that will create a colon to indicate they, what they actually say. Also include directions and actions for each character. Those are called stage directions, remember. Use parentheses to separate talking from directions. For example, in itali italics here, it says Maria climbs over the fence. She yells to her friends in her yard. These would be the stage directions and notice how we have spaces here between this. Maria then is the one speaking here. She's the one with the dialogue. So her name is underlined and then we have the colon. I will find the Frisbee. It should not take more than a few minutes. I will be back soon. And then we go right back into stage directions and we know that because it's in italics. Maria begins to search for her Frisbee. She looks up and sees a strange creature holding the toy. So if we keep this format here, it's easy for the reader of the script to tell who's speaking, where the dialogue is, and then where the stage directions are. So it's important to keep that format when you're typing into Schoology. All right, so going on, we planned our scene. You should have done that yesterday in writing. So planning your scene, and we worked on that where we went ahead and I discussed some different options you have. You wanted, needed to change either the character or the setting or the problem or the solution. And when you changed one, of course, it would affect the other one. Remember, we are using the story, Where's Brownie? And um, I read that in the first video or the second video. And you could refer back to that in the other folders from the, from the week and stop it, play it. Um, I told you that I recommend that you keep a tab open with that, that scene too, so that you can just copy the things that are the same and then go ahead and make the changes on the parts that you wanted. But doing this planning part was yesterday's assignment, so it's really important that you do the folders in order this week. Make sure you do Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, etc. I know you do have checkpoints this week, but this um, you also have assignments as well. So um, when I did this, remember I said that I was going to have my key ideas stay the same. Brownie gets lost. However, I was going to change the setting. So then I said our characters, my characters were staying the same. Perhaps on yours, you decided to change the characters. I also said that when you put this in Schoology, I understand that you can't um, perhaps create the boxes, but what you can do is you can write or type title of scene and then just type that underneath it, key ideas and type that underneath it. I will upload a blank planning graphic organizer for you. So all you have to do is look at the graphic organizer and then type the subheadings or the subtitles and then underneath it put down what you want but you only need to change one of these again it will obviously affect another one so make sure that you put characters and their characteristics setting and background ideas i had these ideas but i decided to change it to a park and then the problem was brownies missing and then he would be discovered in a plant and my possible props would be a tree, a tall plant, or a fountain. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to get started on actually writing that script. 
So what I did is I went into Office 365 and I opened up a Word document. Now, like I said, I have Where's Brownie over here. So since you have the video on another day, I would have the video opened up and paused right here so that you can see exactly where this part scene two because this is the only scene that we are changing scene two just have it open and pause so this way you can go back and forth with your tabs between the how you're changing it and what you're changing and then your the original scene all right so what i wrote is i wrote the title where's brownie because that's staying the same i typed in scene two and then I know that the stage directions need to be in italics. So I hit the italicized button here and I typed setting with a colon. The park outside of the apartment building, a tall oak tree is next to the swings. Nikki is playing in a fountain that is nearby. Because if I read the stage directions here, it says setting the lobby of the apartment building, a tall green potted plant stands next to a small fountain where Nikki is playing. Alex, Sam, and Evan talk to Nikki near a bulletin board. All right, so since I changed the setting, I'm changing the stage directions here. We would and should go on to add the other characters in here as well, so that on the stage we would know where those other characters are placed, right? So then we went and looked on down, and the first character speaking is Nick. Now, if you chose to change a character, add a character, then this is where you need to think carefully about where the characters are speaking and how the dialogue goes and they interact together. That's where you need to do that on the planning sheet first, and then that way it makes it a lot easier when you go to type it up. So over here, uh, it says, Nick, says, these posters have me perplexed. I don't understand why you think Brownie is out there. In the original script, it says, so these posters are about your lizard Brownie. I'm still perplexed as why you think he's down here. Then Sam says, because we already checked upstairs. Well, that's not going to fit anymore because the setting in the original script scene is where the Brownie is was originally they were in the apartment and then they went downstairs into the lobby. Well, now since I've changed that where I want them to still have the apartment, but then I want him to be lost in the park and then be discovered in the park, it doesn't make sense that they are now looking downstairs. I want them to be looking in the park. So I had to completely change that. So now I'm saying, these posters have me perplexed. I don't understand why you think Brownie is out here. And then Sam says, because we already checked in the apartment. Okay. So next, I would say, if, if Alex says Brownie's a chameleon, we think he escaped when Sam set the bag down near the fountain. I could still keep that the same. Where Nick says, hey, Nikki, any brown lizards in the lobby? His father's not going to say, hey, Nikki, any brown lizards in the lobby, because up here in the stage directions, I have that Nick, Nikki is playing in a fountain that is nearby. I should probably change that nearby in the park to be more specific so the reader doesn't get confused, right? So now if we go back here, it says, hey, Nikki, any brown lizards in the lobby? I would change that to, hey, Nikki, any brown lizards in the park? And then Nikki could still say, nope, because that's part of his character, isn't it? He doesn't say much. He's just kind of, nope. And then Nick would say, maybe you should reconsider this and try searching your apartment again. Nick could still say that because I still want them in the apartment. I'm just having him, Brownie, be discovered in the park. Then Evan would say, wait a minute, checks his device. Remember, you'll want to put that in parentheses and italics because it is stage directions. It says here that chameleons climb trees. That could still happen in a park. Okay. Then Nick could say, Nikki, 
any brown lizards in that tree by, you know, in that oak tree? Nikki could say, he could say, I don't see any. So I could change that there to, I don't see any. Then I could change the dialogue to how they discover that chameleons change their colors. And maybe, maybe Brownie has changed his color to green because he's on a leaf. Okay, so I'm going to change this dialogue here because I changed the setting. All right, and then I would go on to this other side. Now, that is how I changed it. That's not what you're going to do. You're going to change it in your own way. So we shouldn't get another copy of Brownie Gets Lost in a Park unless you make it a water park. Um, you could make it a rainforest. You could make it a desert. You could make it any other place you want, but we don't want to see another copy of Brownie getting lost in the park that's just like Mrs. Blackburn's. I'm just doing that to give you an idea or an example. All right, so now let's take a look at the rubric and how you will be scored. So, this rubric I'm also going to upload in Schoology. This comes right from the state of Texas, and there's a lot of words on it. You do need to look at it closely. However, there's some things that are going to make this very easy to understand and interpret. Interpret. You have at the top accomplished, satisfactory, basic, and limited. You want to be here, okay? This is the highest score. This is the lowest score. Over here, this is where you also want to look. You have three areas that your teachers will be looking for. You have purpose and development of your ideas. How well did you develop those ideas when you were supposed to change a part of the, the play, the scene? What did you, you know, what did you change and how well did you develop your ideas? See these words in bold print? To get accomplished, everything says thorough, strong, specific, well-chosen, thoughtful, engaging, all. Read those words. Satisfactory, which is okay, has good, appropriate, specific, and somewhat, mostly, most, somewhat. Basic has weak, minimal, weak, few sometimes, and you have to understand and read through those, what exactly is weak, what exactly is inappropriate, what exactly is thorough, and then this is unclear, inappropriate, and this is be very, it's very specific. But I want you to look at these bold words. Now, this is how well it's organized. Now, we talked and discussed about how you need to organize it. You need to have stage directions in italics. You need to skip lines when a person starts and stops talking. You need to have underlined with a colon when the actor's speaking. So that's something else that it, we're looking at. Your organization. Is it appropriate, well-suited, coherent, meaningful to the story? That's accomplished. Or are you way down here? Inappropriate, ineffective, it lacks clarity, it's weak, it's disruptive that would be down here, or are you somewhere in between? The final thing we're looking at is language and conventions. That would be, to be accomplished, vivid, expressive, and effective word choice. Purposeful, varied, and well-controlled controlled sentences. Appropriate tone for the writing task. Consistency, and with command of spelling. There's minor errors that can be evident, but do not distract from fluency or clarity. Or are you down here on limited, where it's vague, limited word choice suggests little or no awareness. It's very simplistic, it's awkward, and it's uncontrolled sentences with little or no command of sentence boundaries. These are the things that your teachers will be looking for, all right? So you'll get an overall score these are the things that you need to make sure. If you think you're finished with your final writing project, you'll need to look through this, this rubric and think, did I make accomplished on my ideas? 
did I make accomplished on my organization and did I make accomplished on my conventions? And these are part of the six traits. It's not all of them, it's three of them. It's part of the six traits of writing, which is quality writing. Remember, our goal is to move this way, to get accomplished, all right? If you have any questions, reach out to your teachers. Again, I look forward to seeing what you write and you can change more things on your dialogue. You can use better word choice, but specifically your assignment is to change part of the scene, specifically a literary element like setting, dialogue, character, stage directions, those kinds of things. So best of luck. Reach out to your teachers if you have questions.